Wong's toys. Uh, I finally have my HLJ box here. Whoop. It is quite large. Uh, this is probably a good month's worth of stuff. I think the last time I shipped was toward the end of March. And I wanted to wait until uh, the new Cure Major stuff came out. So I shipped on the 18th, which was last Friday. Luckily, I shipped when I did uh, because apparently Japan has stopped all EMS and air mail and Sal was already shut down. So pretty much all Japan Post mail to the U.S. is done for right now. Um, but they're saying that DHL and FedEx are still open. I picked DHL for this, so got lucky on that. Glad I did. Uh, it was a little bit pricier, but it got the stuff here, which is good. Should probably be the last time I have to ship for a while. I probably won't ship again until like end of May or something like that. But let's go ahead. Let's get into this. Should be a lot of good stuff in here. So shouldn't be too worried about this. Or I should say, shouldn't be too worried about needing anything else for a while. But we'll see how it goes. Open this up. Try not to knock everything over. So first thing, packing material. Packing material. It's everywhere. Alright, let's see. What is on the top of this box? So the very first thing we have is um oh luna miracle zero i was blanking on my katakana there for a second so they did two different uh, forms of zero for the ultra action figure line this is the first one luna miracle uh let's see is the other one in here it's probably somewhere in here but as for right now, it is not on top. Uh, next up, we have, um, this is the Ultraman Belial Early Style. So basically, this is what he looked like when he was an Ultraman before he went evil, which I think is pretty cool. I didn't even know that, um, I don't know a ton about Belial, so I didn't even know he had a pre-evil form, but that's cool. So I just, they reissued it, I decided to grab it. It was out of stock for a while, or I think they didn't get enough in it first, but then they eventually filled it, so I was able to get one eventually, which is excellent. Uh, next thing right here, oh, here we go, getting into some good stuff right off the bat. This is the Core Graner Eagle Tomica from the new Earth Graner series. I am super pumped for this series. Uh, it's basically, what it reminds me of is... Um, obviously it has influences of Drivehead, which is one of the previous series that Tomica did uh, before Shinkalion. And it also reminds me a lot of Mugenbein, which really they have nothing to do with. Mugenbein was a Bandai uh, property. But just the fact that like blue is an eagle and red is a lion, not that that's uncommon, but um, those were like the first two in the Mugenbein <laughs> series was a Air Leon and Carry Eagle, and they were the respective colors. So when I saw this line, I just right away i got excited for it i knew i had to check it out so i got the first uh, couple things this is the individual car for eagle so that's really cool i'm looking forward to that um let's see the next thing that comes out of here is the final venting ryuki progress key as you can see they're just jamming stuff in here wherever it fit there's no consistency some more plastic. Um, <laughs> static cling. All right, next up we have the Ore Visiting Deno Progress Key. So there's going to be a decent amount of Legend Rider keys in here. Here is another one. This is the Exceed Charging Fives. And, oh, here is the other Zero form. This is the Strong Corona Zero. Anyway, uh, putting that off to the side here. Next up, we have the second um, Earth Graner Leo Tomica, the Core Graner. So this is the individual car. Now, the set that I bought uh, did come with um, 
a car in it, but that car has like different color wheels or some kind of variant. So they may do different sounds in the changer and whatnot. And I will say right off the bat, the role play weapons got delayed. There's like a steering wheel that can change into a gun and a sword. And then there is like a wrist uh, changer that you plug the cars into. They both got delayed. So unfortunately I don't have them, but we can at least take a look at the mecha. So pretty excited about these. Um, speaking of things I'm excited about, here is the uh, DX Kirame Base. And uh, is this Kari? I think is this guy's name? Kari, yeah. So this came out a little while ago, but I think it came out like right before or literally right after I shipped it the last time. So I just, I didn't rush to ship it out right away. I think it's kind of neat how you can buy multiple ones and, uh, you know, make like an enclosed base. Reminds me of the uh, Pandora panels and the Pandora's box. But that's pretty cool. I'm excited about that. Speaking of Keter Major stuff that I'm super excited for, this looks really fun. So this is the King Express set. I mean, it's it's a train that turns into a dinosaur, and then another train, and then they form this robot. How can you lose? It just looks so good. <laughs> I love the design of it. I love the T-Rex train dino. It's all so good. It's all so good. I'm super pumped for that. Uh, let's see. What is next in the box here? All right, so next thing in the box appears to be Anima Gear Volume 3, which this is a pretty huge box. I didn't expect it to be this big. I got a box of these once before, and I don't remember it being this big, but maybe it was, and I just don't remember it. These boxes are fairly large, though. All right, so let's see. We get uh, three Vlad Lilacs. I don't know who Vlad Lilac is. Actually, this guy's pretty cool. He um, he has a robot form, and then he also can change into a bat, which is pretty cool. You, like, tuck his feet back and tuck his... You know, I guess you leave his hands out. Maybe his head transforms a little bit. But, yeah, he turns into a bat, which is pretty cool. And then you have Armory Fortis instead of Tortoise. He turns... Oh, he's a, he's a, a turtle, obviously, Tortoise. He doesn't transform. Although he has, like, I saw on the blog, he can turn into, uh, they turned him into, like, a gun for the bat guy to use. Vlad Lilac. <laughs> yes, hello, I'm Vlad Lilac. Um, this guy's name is Blaze Dragus. So he's pretty cool. I feel like they're finding their footing with these. I feel like at first they were a little wishy-washy, but I feel like they're coming into their own. And then here's Blaze Dragas Hell, which is apparently like an angrier version. Looks like he's got a color change going on. He's pretty cool, though. And then this is one of the ones I like the most. Um, Kong Bull Crusher. So he's a gorilla. Honestly, he's, he's one of the... Between him and the bat guy... They sold me on buying these, so. Corey, if you're watching, there's a set here for you um, whenever I can go to the post office again, so I apologize. It'll be a little bit, but they look fun. So let's put them off to the side here. Uh, next up, we have uh, the DX Rampage Gatling Progrise Key. This is another thing that came out like right after I shipped last time, so it's a little old news, but I'm still really excited to play with it. I think it looks really cool. Very excited to check that out. Uh, next up, we have the Gundam Micro Wars SP set, and this is basically like repaints of ones that have already come out, but it looks like each mobile suit actually comes with the pilot, if that's the case. Yes. So this is like a dark Gundam repaint. I don't know. It's the, the RX-78 Gundam, but done in black, mostly. I think it's like a black and a dark green. So there's that. 
And then they have the, um, what is this one called? Oh, this is the gym. I think it's GM, so they call it gym. But done with like a little bit different coloring, like he's got uh, red shoulder pads. It's kind of a cool, I like the design of it. And again, they all have a pilot, as opposed to when you used to have to buy like that little gun pod that came with all the pilots for everybody else. These each have their own pilot in them, which is pretty cool. Next up we have um, what I believe is a Zaku of some kind. Not really sure how that one's different. And then the last one, which I'm really excited about, is the uh, Zagok, but in blue. Because before we only got the red uh, Shars Zagok. So the standard issue one was always blue on the show. So I'm glad they did those. So that's pretty cool. I love these. It's such a goofy little um, line of, of figures, but I, I love them. So very excited to get those. Next up in the box, we have a couple more Progrise keys. We have the uh, Turn Upping Blade. And we have the Thumbs Upping Kuga. So there you go. More Legend Rider Progrise keys. Next up, we have uh, Shoto X8, which is the set with uh, Stronger and Blade, I believe. So let's see what we have here. Uh, looks like we have Stronger, his uh, more powerful form. Then we have two bikes, two blades, and two extra effect piece boxes. Which looks like it's some cards. Some other things. Some blade cards, like some extra pieces I think for the bike. Apparently there's like an off-road and an on-road version. I don't know if I'm going to keep both. But I'm surprised you only get one of stronger and one of the powered up form. I'm surprised they didn't do any duplicates there. But I guess they figured extra blades would sell. So be it. So there's that. Put that off to the side here. Uh, next up we have Soto AI 5.5 uh, which is the um, Mammoth what is that thing actually called? I don't even know. Basically, it's the big mech thing whose name escapes me. But there's there's three boxes to build the big mammoth mech. And then there's two bikes for some reason. I don't know why they packed in two bikes, but they did. So if you want to give Vulcan a bike or somebody else got an extra one so there's that I think I'm caught I think I did five yeah I did AI five right uh, next up we have oh this looks like a lot of fun this is the mini plot set for Kira Majin pretty cool I think this is gonna be a lot of fun I'm going to open up the box here. This seems incredibly taped. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this open. So there are six boxes, and it looks like the breakdown is um, three boxes for fire, is that one box for, yeah, shovel and mock, and then one box for jet and one for helico. Do you want to actually focus? No? Maybe? It doesn't want to. But anyway, there you go.
Okay, cool. So I'm excited. I'm going to build that up soon. I'm trying to stay on top of the uh, Sentai and Rider Soto and Mini Plot for this year so as not to get more behind. But I gotta say, I've made some progress on Mount Saint Mini Plot over here. I'm pretty proud of it. It's not um, not enough, but some. All right. So next up, we have another Earth Graner. We have the Gao Graner Eagle, as you can see right there. Now, I'm trying to think with these. Okay, so he has the eagle jet form and then the smaller car. And then he has, obviously, the robot transformation. I thought maybe he had a car mode as well, but it doesn't really look like it. This is what I... I can't wait for this one. This is the Gao Graner Shark. These are like the dedicated pants for eagle. Basically, uh, what they have him doing so far is Lion and Eagle both share the cheetah pants. And uh, eventually, this guy's going to get the shark pants. Hashtag shark pants. He's going to get the shark pants so that he can eventually, you know, they can have two robots at the same time. But uh, speaking of which, wow, this is large. All right, so this is the Earth Graner Leo Cheetah. And basically what this is, is it's the Leo car and the Cheetah Pants with the smaller car all together in one box. So this definitely looks awesome. Oh, we have some other, okay. So we have some future releases. You can see down here, there's an orange car and a white car. Now I thought I heard that there was supposed to be some kind of promotional thing. But I remember thinking that the promotional thing was like a random Tomica car. Like it wasn't even like an Earth Grander car. So I wasn't too worried about it, honestly. So I don't know. I don't know if anyone got that or if that actually happened or I made that up. I thought I saw it somewhere online. Um, and then the last thing here in the box is the Magnasaur, which is the second Gosaur model kit. This thing looks awesome. Uh, if you watch my video on the uh, Gosaur, you can see him over here on the side. Um, this is a second one in that line. And basically, uh, this guy has a robot mode and a T-Rex mode, as you can see there. And uh, he can also become like a backpack for the main robot. So I think he looks awesome. He's definitely going to be interesting to build. But I'm psyched. I think he looks great. I love the T-Rex mode. I think that's really cool. I, I wish I could watch this anime somewhere. I don't know where to watch it. But uh, it looks really awesome. And I'm pumped. I wish I could watch it somewhere. Because I've really been enjoying that first robot that I built. So that should be everything in this box. Put all the packing material back in. that's everything uh the only other thing i've gotten recently um i wanted to show off that i finally ultraman x just came out so added that to the collection um pretty excited about it with that i have x orb and jeed which are kind of the main three uh from when i started watching ultraman which is pretty sweet i would assume rube and zero and all them will be happening soon so mill creek keeps putting them out i'll keep buying them they've been great so far so yeah uh that's everything Definitely have a lot of reviews to get to. And uh, like I said, probably the Earth Grander stuff pretty soon. Cure Major stuff, definitely. I'd like to get to the Mini Plot and um, AI 5.5 stuff sooner rather than later. So that's kind of what will be coming sooner. Um, I have a couple other random things, like some older Transformers I got from BBTS. You know, maybe I'll pepper them in as I go, but... I would think the newer stuff is going to take priority for reviews. So 
yeah, that's going to do it for this unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.